Well, it's been nearly four months since a former Shawnee Mission School District principal was arrested for drunk driving. Today, 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson sat down with Corey Strothman as he shared what led to that night that forever changed his life. I've gone down a track that um, didn't end up so well for me. Corey Strothman is picking himself back up. From January 25th until today, over 100 days, I can say that I'm in the best place that I've been in for maybe my entire life. In January, Strothman was arrested after police said he crashed into a car in Shawnee. Officers cited him for DUI and hit and run. In the moment, I was fearful of everything, losing my job and my family and um, my wife. Strothman was the principal at Rose Hill Elementary School. After his arrest, he resigned. I finally, looking back, was able to come out of denial. Three years ago, he was diagnosed with major depressive disorder. Even with an employee assistance program through the district, he never tried to get help. And a lot of people just don't know that their employers do offer that, or they may not understand that it is confidential. What if people know I'm using this? What if they find out that it's depression? It took being arrested for him to take the first steps. Strothman went to rehab and started seeing a therapist. A diagnosis won't help anything. It's not the diagnosis that that um, will make you feel better. The National Alliance on Mental Health says it can be decades between first symptoms and when people seek help. Encourage people to ask for help. Don't wait to ask for help. That's one of the things that um, we know happens a great deal. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Strothman is hoping his story will help others speak up and get the help they need. In Shawnee, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. Strothman created a website called Grace in Your Corner. He's using it as a platform to share his story and help others. He also hopes that his efforts will raise awareness and remove the stigma surrounding mental health.